Hi guys, I'm Leah Taylor Ward. I am the CEO and founder of LTW Design here in the Northeast, and I'm so excited to be back for Design Milk's DMTV Milkshake series. I have my bowl here. I know you guys have a lot of questions, so let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up. And first question says, tell us about bold neutrals. How do you get both boldness and neutrality in one? So that's a really good question. Um, bold neutrals is this kind of phrase that we came up with to describe our aesthetic, the kind of LTW vibe. Uh, I think when it comes to neutral spaces, a lot of people can you know, get scared that it's just going to be too blah or boring because uh, we don't use a lot of bright, you know, bright colors. But our spaces are not bold and boring, um, at least we don't think so. And a lot of them uh, we design or we stage with bold pieces. So that's where the bold part comes from. We're really talking about the scale of an item. So whether it's a side table or a coffee table, we tend to stay away from uh, pieces of furniture that have you know thin legs or a lot of legs. We like, for example, plinth coffee tables that go all the way down to the floor so that the furniture almost feels uh, like art. It's a little bit sculptural in shape. So that's the bold part, it's the scale. And when it's combined with the neutral color palette, it gives you that, uh, that aesthetic that we love. Okay, next question. What are some tips and tricks you use at your Del Mar project that any homeowner could incorporate into their space? So our Del Mar project was really interesting because it was designed um, by an architect who created a home that was completely symmetrical. So what was happening on the right side was mirrored on the left. So it, it's a gorgeous property on the water. I think it's going for 11 million. And so when we staged it, we really had fun um, kind of mirroring that symmetry. We love symmetry. Um, I think symmetrical spaces feel really balanced and calming and uh so what we did in this property is wherever we had the chance we would create a floor plan for example in the right side of the home living room the right wing we did two accent chairs and then on the other side we mirrored it with two accent chairs so it creates this like f uh, feeling of balance when you walk in and then in the back behind that which you'll see in the pictures um in the article below is that we had a chase and an ottoman and then mirrored the other side of the room with the chase and an ottoman. So that's something really easy and really impactful that you can do in your own home. It doesn't have to be completely the same and mirrored like I was just describing. It could be something like you have a really big accent chair and oversized piece of art on one side and then you want to just be sure on the other side of the room you have something that is of equal scale. So it could be a oversized floor of it, uh, vase or planter with a really tall olive tree or uh, you know fiddle leaf tree or something like that. I think that anytime you can create symmetry in a space, it makes everybody happy. Okay, next question. What's most inspiring you right now in terms of spring and early summer favorites? Um, Right now, you know, we're in the Northeast and it's really damp and cold still. Um, we know winter's over, but any, uh, any chance we get to see leaves coming out or the cherry blossom trees right now that are so beautiful, we really, me and the team, it's just really inspiring. So for example, right now we have like big branches of cherry blossoms right here in this vase that we clipped from, you know, the yard. Uh, so on installations, we do that. We always bring clippers and we kind of like forage the yard and we'll clip big branches. And when I say big, I think like, you know, three or four feet tall and then uh, just put them in a big bunch and it just creates a really nice, um, you know, happy feeling. And uh, right now that's inspiring me a lot. It tells me summer's on its way. Okay, last question. What has working on luxury properties taught you that you couldn't have learned anywhere else. Um, you know, we've worked on some beautiful homes over the years and I have to say what, what I've learned is that no matter the size or price of the home, we've been in $1 million and $20 million homes and everything in between, I think that every home inside can benefit from staging whether it's um, something as simple as removing family photos to prepare the house for market, 
uh, you know, changing, tweaking the floor plan so that the flow is more um, inviting and a little bit intentional uh, for potential buyers. I think that every home can benefit from staging preparation. So hope that that answers your questions. And thanks again for having me.